Hey, Shalom, brothers and sisters, all right? Back with another lesson, all right? This is the brother Ma'a Kadar from the Great Millstone Camp here in Cleveland. All right, Lord willing, it's edifying, all right? Want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. And, um, you know, blessings and respect to you brothers, you know, Yoakim standing up in great boldness, pushing his word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, uh, putting your freedom and lives at risk. To you, I say, Shalom. All right, and this is a tweet, uh, you know, from the rapper that goes by the name of uh, Meek Mills, all right? You know, he proclaims to be enlightened <laughs> or woke. You know, I heard, you know, some of his lyrics, man, he 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 spit some facts in his lyrics, you know, and um, this tweet right here brought me to realize, hey, man, this guy's, a, you know, he's ignorant, all right, and he's a, he's a fool, man, all right, and um, it says, uh, we in the easiest time to become a millionaire, uh, don't be a weirdo. Let's go. All right. And, um, hey, man, <laughs> you know, a million dollars, hey, it sounds good to the flesh, man. All right. But, um, you know, hey, man, the time we're living in, all right, which is, you know, the time that the Lord is bringing heavy judgment, man. All right. The Lord is about to, you know, bring his wrath upon the multitude of the planet earth man and um you know hey man you know we're living in a time where we have to you know push this word man all right and um a million dollars <laughs> would just be a distraction man all right a million dollars will you know you know distract you from you know doing this work man and that's why you know, the Lord, as a matter of fact, I just thought of a precept. All right, this is a uh, Proverbs uh, 30 and 8. It says, remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me, man. All right, it says, give me neither poverty nor riches, man. All right, so in this truth, man, the Lord is not going to have you so, you know, financially messed up where, you know, you're eating out the garbage can, man. Or the Lord is not going to have it to where, you know, you just got millions of dollars in the bank, man. All right? Because that that then, you know, it, it'll distract you. All right? And um, it says, Lest I be fool and deny thee and say, Who is the Lord? All right? And that's the point I'm trying to make here, man. This guy don't refer reverence the Lord. All right, he might say, oh, you know, I want to give thanks to the Lord just for, you know, camera's sake, all right? But this guy's not, you know, thinking on the Lord, man. He's not saying Lord willing. He's not, you know, giving credit to the Lord, man. All right, this guy is giving credit to the devil, man. Because, hey, man, you know, he's not talking about, you know, becoming a millionaire working a nine to five, man. He's talking about it being easy to make millions of dollars in Esau's entertainment business, man. Which, hey, is a gift from Satan, man. Matter of fact, man, let me finish reading this out and get this precept. All right, this is Proverbs 30 and 9. It said, lest I be full and deny thee and say who is the Lord, or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of Yahweh in vain, man. All right. So let me get this precept in uh, Ecclesiastes, man. All right. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and 7. All right. It says, Oppression. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroy of the heart, man. All right. And uh, as you see, you know, this man's mind is destroyed, man. His mind is destroyed, man. For him not to, you know, be able to see the time that we're living in, man. Due, you know, to his wealth. You know, he, you know, 
encouraging, you know, our people, all right, to become a millionaire in this society is about to be destroyed, man. All right, and let's keep reading. I'm gonna skip down to verse 12. It says, For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense, but the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. So, hey, man, money is a defense. Wisdom is a defense, man. Wisdom is what's going to, you know, keep you preserved from the said perils to come. All right? Money is a defense as far as, you know, everyday life, man. You know, as far as shelter, clothing, food. All right? And a few other things, man. But, you know, one thing, you know, money is not a defense to is the Lord's wrath, man. The wrath, you know, of your high by shimmy I was shot, man. All right, matter of fact, let me grab that. All right, this is Proverbs chapter 11, all right, verse 4. It says, riches profit not in a day of wrath, man. All right, so, you know, riches don't deliver you from wrath. All right, what deliver you from wrath? I'm going to keep reading. Proverbs 11 and 4, it says, riches profit not in a day of wrath. But righteousness delivereth from death, man. All right, so hey, man, following the statutes and commandments is what's going to deliver you from death, man. Trusting in Yahweh Shemiah is what's going to deliver you from death, man. Doing this work okay, to the end, man, is going to, and what's, is what's going to deliver you from death, man. Not your millions of dollars. So, hey, man, you know, becoming a millionaire in this time, you know, hey, man, you, it's, it's, it's all in vain, man. Because those riches are not going to work for you, all right, when all this, you know, pop off, man. Let me get this other precept. This is Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel chapter 7 and uh, 19. It says, they shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity, man. It's, hey, hey, if you, you know, if you if you become a millionaire in this time, man, that we're living in, man, that's going to be your stumbling block, man. None of, hey, none of these, you know, <laughs> your, your gold chain, your, your Rolex watches, man, your, you know, your, uh, you know, your designer clothes, you know, your uh, fancy cars going to, you know, deliver you, man. You, you're not going to be able to offer those things up, man, to, to be help, helped or saved in the time to come, man. All right, so hey, man, you know, and um, ultimately, man, you know, the Lord told us, let me grab this precept too, man. You know, you know why people, you know, so worried about, you know, gaining this money in this society, man, in this time, man. People, that's all people worried about. You know, I always think about this song, you know, uh, by by the rapper Gucci man, you know it's called you know rich nigga shit, you know rich nigga shit. How much money can just one nigga get, man? You know, that used to be a song in the world that you know used to motivate you to you know get money. But hey, man, you know, <laughs> let me get this scripture real quick, man. Oh, this is Matthew chapter six, and uh. Shalaki, brother, bear with me. All right. It says, Matthew 6 and 19, it says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doeth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Hey, a lot of these, you know, entertainers, man, you know, hey, you've you, you been seeing in the media, man, they be getting robbed. You know, a lot of them been going into these, you know, restaurants or, you know, clubs, man, leaving their, uh, you know, some of their jewelry and, and, and their vehicle 
And hey, man, you know, niggas been, you know, breaking in their cars, stealing their jury, man. Lil Boosie, I believe, just got like $70,000 worth of jury took from him, man. You know, these rappers is getting robbed, extorted. You know, so hey, man, you know, that's why the Lord said, hey, man, you know, lay not up for yourself treasures upon the earth, man. All right? And it says, uh, but lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doeth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal, man. All right? So, hey, man, you know, it's that, hey, you got to you gotta get that spiritual money in the, in the bank, man. You know, hey, man, you know, shit, hey, Esau bank, Esau take money out your bank, man, and loan it to, to the next person. You know, so hey man, your money ain't safe there. You can't go in the bank and hey man, you know, hey, I need 20 million right now. You know? Hey man, you gotta you gotta you gotta put money in, in your spiritual bank account, man. And hey, and that's what we doing, man. You know, we racking up money in that spiritual bank account, man. Doing this work, man. And, and hey, in our savings account, man. All right, but I'm gonna close with this preset right here, man. This is a uh, this is Second Peter chapter three, all right, verse verse eleven. It says, "Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, man." You know, hey, man, everything about to be dissolved here, man. Yeah, hey, the, hey, the money, yeah, hey. and whatever you spend your money on is about to be dissolved, man. Hey, by the way of what? Nuclear fire, man. All right. All right. So it says, uh, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be in holy conversation and godliness, man? What manner of person ought ye to be, man? You know? Hey, forget, you know, becoming a millionaire, man. You know, hey, the scriptures say, man, you know, remember uh, now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Hey, hey matter of fact, hey, I'm going to close with that, man. All right. Ecclesiastes 12 chapter, we'll start at 1. It says, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. All right. While the evil days come not, man, before the bad times get here, you're supposed to be a... Hey, Getting right, man. Seeking your heart by me out a shot before it's too late. You know, not. You know, I'm trying to become a millionaire, man. You know, let's go. Niggas are idiot, man. So, hey, man, you know, I hope it was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakah Kodash, Wah, Baba, Ba, Shalom.